song, it will make us strong and it makes us shout, hooray! It's good for growing babies and grown-ups too to eat. For all the family's breakfast, you can see cream of wheat. Cream of wheat, the great American family cereal presents Let's Pretend. Thank you, thank you for that nice reception, audience, and welcome to Let's Pretend. How about that story? Well, let's see. Gwen, Sybil, let's get some action. We've got plenty of action for today, Uncle Bill. Tell him, Gwen. Well, it's a story we've had hundreds of requests for, Uncle Bill Bluebeard. How do you get that, Uncle Bill Bluebeard? (laughs) I'm not a mean fellow. Of course you're not, Uncle Bill. But if you were, you'd get just what was coming to you, just like he does. Oh, in other words, everything comes out all right? Everything, except for the fellow who did wrong. And wicked people have to be punished, you know. Well, I'll buy that. All right, how do we travel? Well, it's Jack Rhymes' turn to say. All right, Gwen. I'll tell you what, uh, let's get there in a hurry, huh? Uh, let's make it a fire engine. All right, Jack, a fire engine it is. Everybody set? Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> We're headed straight for Let's Pretend and the story of Bluebeard, a fire engine with a clang, clang, clang. Let's go! Hold on to your hat, Uncle Bill. We're out to set a new speed record. Once upon a time, long years ago, there was a dark and gloomy castle high up on a lonely mountain. In it lived a mysterious man named Bluebeard. No one knew much about him. Most of the villagers feared him and went out of their way to avoid him. Just recently, they had heard he had returned from a journey, bringing a new wife with him, but no one had seen her. As our story begins, Bluebeard and his bride are looking through the many rooms of the castle. I have seen your new home, Lady Nydia. And if you are a nice, obedient wife, I dare say you'll be very happy here. Oh, my dear husband, with all this luxury and beauty around me, I'm sure I shall be. What does this door lead to? That leads to the room furnished in solid gold. Oh, how lovely. And this door, what is in it? To the room of precious stones. Diamonds are in that room in large silver baskets. Rubies, too, that overflow their urns of bronze. Oh, I have never known such wealth. Oh, that room at the far end of the hall, Bluebeard? (laughs) That I cannot tell you. And listen to me well, Nydia. You must never, never enter that room. Every other room in the castle is open to you. All except that one. But why, my lord? That is my business. Only obey me if you know what is best for you. And now say goodbye to me, for I must leave you for a short while. Oh, you are going away so soon. I cannot let a new wife stand in the way of business adventures. Here are the keys to all the rooms. Each one is marked. Take them. Enter whenever you will or whatever room you choose. All but this one. Now, don't hope to deceive me, for I shall know if you disobey. And I warn you, you will pay dearly for it. And now, farewell. Farewell, my lord. I wonder where he's going. Oh, well, there's plenty to do while he's away. This is the key to the gold room. This one to the silver. That's the key to the diamond room. And this one must be to the forbidden room. Hmm, I wonder what's in the forbidden room. Oh, but I mustn't disobey my husband. No, I won't go in. What's that? I hear a sound. Did it come from the forbidden room? Oh, it, it couldn't. It, oh, it, it did come from behind that door. Oh, I, I can't pass by. But, but I must know. I shall open the door and see for myself. Oh, how dreadful. Oh, heaven help me. Oh, Bluebeard, you faint, you faint, you faint. Where are you? 
Here, my lord. Welcome home. And have you been a sweet, obedient little wife while I've been gone? You remembered all that I told you? Yes, my lord. Good. And now, dear Nydia, give me the keys that I left with you. Yes, Bluebeard. Here they are. Thank you. Now, let me see. What's this? What do I see? What do you see, Bluebeard? Have you disobeyed me? Have you gone to the forbidden room? No, no, Bluebeard, of course not. What What makes you ask? And why is the spot of blood on the magic key? Magic key? You didn't know that, did you? You didn't know that when the door was opened, a spot of blood appeared on the key. You thought to fool me, Bluebeard. I told you I'd know. Now then, Nydia, prepare to meet your doom. Like all the others who have disobeyed me. Oh, you be. You, you wicked thing, let me go, let me go, you bitch! Please come in, Sister Anne. And you too, brother. Oh, of course, sir. What did you want to talk to us about, Fatima? Yes, sister, you sounded very serious. It is serious, Thomas. And I want you and you, Frederick, to advise me. Oh, then it evidently doesn't concern me. Oh, but it does, Anne, very much. Well, then, tell us, sister. Well... As you know, of course, Bluebeard seems to be very much in love with me. He certainly seems to be, Fatima. You couldn't mistake it. Couldn't you? Sometimes I do. What do you mean, sister? He's been charming, I know, and while I like him very much, there are times that something about him frightens me, too. I, I don't understand it, and I don't know what to do. Well, until you're quite sure, Fatima, I'd do nothing. But that's why I wanted to talk to all of you. You see... He's coming for his answer today. Well, I don't see how you can hesitate. The richest man in the country, attractive, he can give you everything you want. What more can you ask? Anne, if I consent, will you come and live with me, at least for a while? In that beautiful castle with all the luxury that goes with it? I should say I would. And Frederick and Thomas, if I'm ever in danger, will you come to me? What a strange request. But of course we will, Fatima. How would our brothers know? Well, well that's simple, Anne. If at any time you need us, Fatima... Place a mirror in the tower window where the sun's rays will strike it. A mirror? Yes, we'll see it. And don't forget, we have the fastest horses in the country. We'll come to you immediately. Well, that must be Bluebeard now. I'll go. How do you do, Anne? Good afternoon, Bluebeard. Come in, please. Thank you. How do you do, sir? Oh, good afternoon. Won't you sit down, Bluebeard? Thank you, Fatima. How lovely you look today. I'm glad you think so. Thomas? Yes? Uh, Frederick, huh? let's make some tea. Help me, won't well, you? Since when have you needed help for that? <laughs> Ever since I found I have two such dumb brothers. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. oh, yes, of course. Uh, uh, excuse us, won't you, Bluebeard? Yes. So sorry you must leave us. <laughs> you look it. Come, boys. My darling, at last we're alone. You know, of course, why I've come. Yes, Bluebeard. And what is my answer? I... Oh, Fatima, dearest one, make me the happiest man in the kingdom. Say you will be my wife. Do you really love me so very much? How could I help it? So young, so beautiful. Say you will be mine. Yes, Bluebeard. I will be your wife. Fatima, my dear. No. Please. Please don't kiss me yet. My timid little dove. Very well. It shall... What are you looking at? Your hair, Fatima. What? Those long black braids around your head like a crown. When you let it down, it must hang nearly to the floor, doesn't it? Yes, almost. Bluebeard. Yes, Fatima. I, I have a favor to ask. Anything, my dear. When we are married, do you mind if my sister Anne visits with us for a while? Any particular reason, Fatima? Why, only that I... I've never been away from my home before, and it would seem less strange but if she... you'll have plenty of company. Very soon. Why should I? I don't know anyone in your village. <laughs> but I'm sure you will. Soon. But my sister... Why not? In the quarters where you will spend a great deal of your time. <laughs> there will be room for Anne, too. <laughs> yes, 
Young and lovely Fatima, in spite of a feeling of fear, finally accepted Bluebeard's proposal of marriage. But before she gave her answer, she made her sister Anne promise to journey with her to his castle. Then she and her two brothers arranged that, should she ever need them, a mirror was to be placed in the castle tower. The reflection of the sun on it would tell them she was in danger and they would come to her. We find the beautiful bride with her sister Anne walking through the magnificent corridors of the castle as Bluebeard talks with them. And so, Fatima, I must go away. But you will be a good little wife, and Anne here will keep you company. Besides, I have given you the keys to all the rooms in the castle. Open them and inspect their treasures to your heart's content. All but this one room. Don't use the little key or unlock the door it fits. You'll regret it all your life. Do you understand? Yes, my lord. I have no desire to pry into what doesn't concern me. Others have said that too, but curiosity overcame good judgment. However, we shall see what you do. Goodbye. <laughs> we shall see. <laughs> What do you think is behind this door we're forbidden to enter, Anne? Probably just another room of silver and gold or jewels. I've never seen such wealth. Oh, Fatima, you're a lucky girl. You're not afraid anymore, are you? I think Bluebeard is most considerate. As long as he has his own way in everything. But once he's angry, I dare not think what he would do. That's a lovely tapestry on the wall there, isn't it? Beautiful. The whole corridor is lovely. Anne... What do you think happened to his other wives? What's that? I hear nothing. Probably the wind. I think Thomas was wrong. I don't believe he's been married so many times. Listen. I hear groans. Don't you hear them? Yes, I do. Fatima, they come from behind the forbidden door. His other wives... He's holding them prisoners. That's what's happened to them. They're locked in there, and, and I have the key. Come in. You mustn't be afraid. I shall open the door and release them. This is the key to it. There. <gasps> Merciful heaven. Oh, my sister Fatima, don't faint. Pull yourself together. Everything's going black. I can't see. Get me out of here. Oh, Anne. And what shall we do? Get help as quickly as possible and release those poor women before Bluebeard returns. We can't manage it alone. Where are the keys? Oh, Fatima. There's a drop of blood on the one that unlocks this door. Take your handkerchief. Wipe it off quickly. It won't come off. Look, look. What shall we do? Go to my room and scour it. And put the signal in the window for our brothers to come to us. Upstairs. Quickly, sister. Oh, beast. What if he should return before our brothers get here? Oh, Anne. Please don't give way. Bluebeard must not know. You must be calm and act as if nothing had happened until help arrives. The signal. What if they don't see it? Oh, quick, Anne, to the tower. Hurry, hurry. <laughs> With everything I know, the spot is still there. Try again. There must be something. It's blood. There's something that'll remove the stain. I'm so terrified, I can't think. Try. Bluebeard may return it any moment. Fatima! <gasps> Fatima, my love! Bluebeard. I am home. Come downstairs and greet your lord and husband. And dear. Yes, my lord. I come. Oh, try, Anne. Scar the key again while I go to greet him. I'm coming, Bluebeard. Greetings, my lord. You are pale, Fatima. Is anything wrong? Oh, no, Bluebeard. My, my head aches a little, that's all. Well, I can cure that. Give me the keys. What? There is a special herb in the silver room that will cure you immediately. Oh, no, no. I, I don't need it. My head will be all right soon. Silly wife. You are quite pale. You need some medicine and I'll get it for you. Give me the keys. There. There they are, Bluebeard. Thank you. 
What's this? The Tamer One key is missing. Where is it? One key is missing, Bluebeard. Oh, which one? The one to the forbidden room. Where is it? Oh, it, it must have dropped in my room. I, I'll run upstairs and get it. Excuse Make me. Make haste. I want all the keys. Yes, my lord. I'll get it. Oh, Anne. Is the spot of blood still on the key? Heaven help us, it is. Oh, what shall we do? Give me the key, and then stay there by the window to tell me when our brothers are in sight. Perhaps I can delay. Fatima! Until... I am waiting. I am coming. Did you find the key? Yes, my lord. Here it is. Oh, you disobeyed me. Fatima, you have entered the forbidden room. Oh, Bluebeard, I... I didn't mean to, really. I didn't, but I heard them groaning. Of course you did, my dear. They were calling you and they're meaning to welcome you. <laughs> Pity. Pity, Bluebeard. What for? Go to your room. Say your prayers. Be ready to come down to join my other wives when I call. Anne. Anne, help me. Help me. Fatima. Oh, how white you are. He's going to kill me. I know he will. Heaven help me. Did you put the mirror in the sun? Yes, yes. Then stay by the tower. Tell me what you see. Fatima, I'll give you a moment to say your prayers. Sister Anne, Sister Anne, do you see anyone coming? I see nothing but the sun on the grass. Fatima, say all your prayers. <laughs> the time is near. A moment, my lord. Another moment of prayer. Sister Anne, Sister Anne, do you see anyone coming? I see nothing but the sun on the road and the green grass. The time is up, Fatima. Come down. One moment more, my lord. Only a moment. Oh, and do you see anyone coming? The great dust rises. It's moving this way. Tell me quickly. Is it my brother's horses? Fatima, come instantly. <sighs> Alas, my sister, it is only a flock of sheep. Fatima, one second more and I shall come up for you. A moment, my lord. To say goodbye to my sister. Sister Anne, do you see? anyone coming? I am on the first step of the stairs, Fatima. And do you see anyone coming? Yes. Yes, I see two horsemen. They're a long way off. Can you see? Are they our brothers? Tell me. I think so. Yes. It is. It is. Thank heaven. Oh, Anne, wave your handkerchief. Signal them to hurry. I'm coming up, Fatima. No, don't. I'm coming, my lord. I'm coming. What do I hear? Who dares enter my castle yard? I'll make short work of them. Frederick! Thomas! Help! Help! Save me! He's going to kill me! Hurry! He's got the door! Hurry! There he is, Frederick, up the stairs. How dare you! Ah, you're short, you must Let me at him, Frederick. Don't, don't spare him. He tried to kill him. Both you whippersnappers. Fight me, will you? Yes, you must. Oh! You run me through. Heaven, you came when you did. Yes, thank heaven we did. Brave girls, my sisters. Now, come with me to the forbidden room quickly. Help us release those women he has held prisoners. Their torture is at an end. For Bluebeard will never harm anyone again. <laughs> Defenders for today were... Gwen Davies. Jack Ryan. Bluebeard. Bob Reddick. His wife, Nydia. Anne-Marie Geyer. Fatima. Miriam Wolf. Her sister, Anne. Sybil Trent. Her brother, Frederick. Albert Alley. Her brother, Thomas. Arthur Anderson. The original music was composed and conducted by Maurice Brown. The story of Bluebeard was dramatized by Nyla Mack and directed by Albert Ward. If you live in or near New York, and you'd like to see a broadcast of Let's Pretend, drop a postcard to Cream of Wheat, CBS, New York, for your free ticket. This is Bill Adams saying, remember to eat Cream of Wheat, the great American family cereal. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>